what I wanted to do is just follow up on that Blackpool video. Um, just show you where I, I went to, where these shops actually were. Just for people, I've been asked um, to, do, to go places and tell them, show people where these places are. Uh, I got asked to go to London, which I don't know. I don't think there's that many actual vintage shops in London. So um, maybe one day, well, maybe one day we'll have to do that. Um, yeah, but uh, for now, it's low. I mean, Blackpool, it's two hours away. It's not that far, really, for me. Um, and obviously, I only go to Blackpool for these shops. So I'm going to bring up the map. I'm going to tell you about my little, little vacation um and show you what i did actually get so basically quentin we came in from blackpool north uh went to sainsbury's did a bit of shopping in sainsbury's and i said we there was two of us um so basically because we were staying we were staying here in the winter gardens which we'll talk about it's 3.4 nah. anyway um right so we walked we had to we had to wait to get into there so we thought we'd go down to see Jez down at jawa unique toys so we walked down there now this is this is incorrect it is now let me get um the map it is down really street i think it's that this one we're here in uh, blackpool and we're gonna find out what's happening with jez's new shop jabba unique toys i think that is it it doesn't actually say it but yeah he's it is it is down there anyway um so if you if, if you're looking from the tower there's your tower coming to carpet there's your tower around here this is a tower um so he's just around the back of the tower really all in the center of uh, of blackpool he was there he's down he's down now down here there's a toy there's toyland as well which has got 4.1 because i give him a bad rain um you're not allowed to film in there toy master's not there anymore uh b m we did go in b m but there wasn't that much so i didn't film in there there was these these icons there's a couple of other shops i didn't film in because basically i wanted to do just a vintage video so um so i went to jawas went to see oh god went to see him as i say he's down there uh let me get rid of that and i'll show you what i did get from jess um first off i did get a a squid head I, I got that on the way back though um i'm using I'm, I'm doing this for a certain thing so i did get thank you just for that that was uh that was nice of him um i did get um the star wars number 36 it just has a diamond which is meaning it's uncirculated uncirculated on the new stands back in the day i think that's what it, that's a that uh, diamond means so i thought I'd, I'd, I'd look at that and i thought yeah i'll get that uh, i didn't get much there was there was a carded tote which bless him he, did, he was going to um to make a really good deal on that but because you'll find out i haven't i haven't bought much this time simply because we're going to the toy fair next month so i didn't want to really spend much i was very tempted there were three things in one thing in each shop that we're going to look at so yeah um didn't pick much up there unfortunately could have picked up more and next time we go probably will do because it's um it's a brilliant store and he's just moved into bigger premises which is really really good so yeah we stayed in the winter garden suites for two nights just behind the um the winter gardens is there so just outside the winter gardens and it is it is quite local for everything except for the two shops that we did actually go to so that was the monday the so tuesday we, were, we had the mcdonald's and we did walk all this way all this way oh 
all this way down down here to Waterloo Road Waterloo Road there we go so you can actually see now what oh, Brooks collectibles but we're inside collectibles first here we are I collectibles should be fun I went to iCollectibles first because I knew I didn't want going to. I wasn't going to be spending a lot of time in there. Um, you saw in the video; it is a packed place. There's so much good stuff in there, but it never seems to go down. It does seem to get a lot in. It never seems to go down. And um, there was I didn't actually buy anything from from Ian this time. Which, yeah, I'm sorry, Ian, but you know, um, I would have done had I not been going to the toy fair there was you saw that they had the had a dinky Klingon warbird Klingon ship and battle cruiser and it was in really good condition and I only wanted 27 pounds for it as I was so tempted I, I was I think I was thinking about going back for it and I never did but really good really good condition so I'm really a bit gutted about that but um yeah well there will be another one i might be able to pick one up that's how fair you never know um so i got well to brooks there we go here we go the best shop in blackpool the best to toy shop the best shop Brooks collectibles so yes i collectibles and brooks around the corner for each other uh, Respawn used to be down here. There used to be a model shop down here. There used to be like four or five stores around here. Um, and there used to be the Infinity Comics there as well, which is shut down. Um, so, but it's still worth coming down here because you've got Brooks. That's a good toy museum, museum and you've got eye collectibles. But um, the things for the. I go to Brooks for one reason to see Mark. What a guy. He gave me a big hug because we went in. Actually, give me two big hugs, which was good. Um, he did. He did. He's a bit of a bugger, a bit of a bugger. Um, he did. Um, because I was looking through, he says, I've got a job of eagle. Look. So I was looking through him and I just thought, look at that Action Force. Action Force advert on the back. There is a uh, an Ertl advert as well for, uh, there we go, for the General Lee as well, which is pretty cool. I don't know which I like best. There's a, the David Ike, <laughs> David Ike sat in there as well. Yeah. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's quite interesting. I like that. He gave me that. What's it? And, uh, oh, another thing I did get a gel Jesus, which I was bought, is the um, the top trumps, the Indiana Jones top trumps. So that's pretty cool. Still to look through that. Yeah. I was bought that. And. Um, so yeah, I, I, as I said, I didn't, I didn't really buy it much. Um, I, I, just, I got that, I bought that. Well, I was going to buy that fall on backpack. So it was in the cabinet, I said, I'll have that. Um, also, these i didn't see these on the first look round, so i had another look round. i did the filming and i had another look round. i saw these at the back of the cabinet i thought i used to love seeing these in the shops i've never ever had them so we have the uh the airport play mat and these i remember these being in the shops and i could never afford them never afford them so see how they're quite long that is quite long isn't it so this is for obviously for your skybusters so it's, it's plastic so it wears pretty well this was an in better this is in better condition than the other one so i thought i'd show this one first um so you got your runway you got your two you got two runways you got your car park and still got a lot of road road works there so that's pretty good you taxi your planes in i don't have any planes 
um, that I know of. I've got helicopters, but that's not uh, not good. Oh, you can see the the tire marks. That's pretty. It's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. That's a, that's a nice. Uh, it's in really really good condition. It's uh, it's uh, durable, wear, hard wearing, uh, but the boxes. Pretty cool. You always find. I've been looking on eBay. You always find that the ends on these never, they're never, never ever very strong. So we've got the roadway player map this time, the Matchbox Seventy Five roadway, and this one, as I say, the big size, one hundred and twenty by fifty centimeters, full color, tough plastic. So yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, as I said, I never had them as a kid. I always coveted them. I really did. Uh, as you can see, yeah, it's been it's been cellar tapes. I would assume that this had been played with a lot more than the the airport. To be honest with you, I really do. And I do think um, this I, I, just, it's got so much play, playability with this. You've not you've just got the roadway, police station. Um, you've got. Uh, a bit there like a, I don't know, quarry type place where you can put your uh, diggers and your other other things. I've got a police car there. Look, I've got a park of police car in there. Um, but you've got you've got train tracks as well. You've got the train tracks. So th the Matchbox trains can go on this as well. So I think that was pretty cool back in the day. I would have liked it. I mean, the playability value is not a lot really. I mean, you can, as a kid, you probably, you would have loved it. It would have been pretty good, I tell you. But um, yeah, I just just pure nostalgia. I, 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 I never had it, but I always coveted it, and now I do have it. So there you go, fantastic. So again, um, these ten and five, ten and five pound. So fifteen pound. Bear in mind, I got that as well. So that was twenty pounds, so I tried to give him twenty pound. So give me a tenner. So paying a tenner, bless him. It's, it's just unbelievable, unbelievable. And then um, he showed me this box of stuff, and this was in it, which is a matchbox version. I want the corgi version, but it looks very much similar to the corgi version. So I'm going to use it until I get the corgi version for my James Bond set. Um. So it says I could have that as well. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be saying I shouldn't be saying all this, but you know, I just want to say what what a great day, Mark is. It is so generous and so <sighs> loving. It is, and um, very knowledgeable as well. We did talk for quite a while about the big Jim Tiger that he's bought and. The variant of the battle cat. It's it's an early version of the battle cat. It's exactly the same. It's the both my Mattel, and it's exactly the same. They use the same mold for battle cat. So we're looking at and we were talking about it. It was it was it was good. It was good. I wish we'd have filmed it. To be honest with you, that would be nice. But maybe next time. We didn't do any filming together this time. But yeah, next next time, next time definitely. And um, so I got this carrier bag for him. I got this full of stuff, and. He said, oh, this, this, I thought, what's this? And they said, don't look at that until you get home. So maybe I should have filmed me unwrapping this. I didn't know I didn't know what it was. Uh, we were talking about Micronauts, and he has a lot of Micronauts as well. But he gave me a time traveler. And it's mint. It's got the feet, it's got the hands, and that is good. I think I'm going to put that in the DeLorean just for a laugh. Um, I'd like to put it on display. I think I'm going to, I might even, I might put it on display, but I think. For a laugh, we're going to put in the Lego DeLorean because it's a time traveler. I think these things up. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we, we 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 talked. We talked for not as long as we usually talk. We talk. We usually talk for hours and hours. But um, it was. Uh, I think mean, it was a good three three hours plus, maybe something like that. Anyway, it was quite a long time. Um, but it just I just. This is this is a reason I go to Blackpool. Yes, there's other shops. 
There's Ian's shop, high collectibles, and there's Jez's shop, the Jawa unique traders. But the welcome you get and the toy museum. And the toy museum. And this is let me put one of my items on display to sell. Um so that was that was just so that's that's how nice he is i just i cannot tell you how <laughs> how nice he is um so yeah we get on pretty well and we want to do <clears throat> we want to do something together we want to do uh, some filming together so if anybody's got any ideas we have got something in plan but it's very difficult with him work doing the shop um it's probably going to have to be back end of the year now but we want to do something um because we do we do bounce off each other pretty well and pretty um i enjoy i enjoy his company um but oh yeah make a good double act so that's that's a good thing um so yeah uh he showed this he showed this catalog this this airfix catalog and it was showing us each page and every time he showed something on a page it was getting it out so he's gone through this catalogue and he's bought nearly everything in this catalogue. Um Para Fawcett doll. Eagles, FX Eagles. So we talked about those for a while. Those are pretty cool. <clears throat> I will try and get, I'll try and put little pictures up um on these things. But the I forgot what I called it. I'll put it I'll put it up. Um there was one one of the figures was so cool. It's like black leather pants, but it was rubber, black rubber pants, and it's a, a, a chrome helmet, and it was like it was like a bit like Darth Vader ish, um, but like about the same size as a as a micronaut, I think. I might be wrong, but yeah, um, maybe a bit higher. Uh, but yeah, it's something I'm going to be looking at. I mean, I've been looking at Big Jim as well because he's been talking about Big Jim, so he's put me down a rabbit hole as well. So obviously, we came back. We went to. Uh, I'll show you where we went to afterwards. We came back and we went. We usually, I usually go to. Right, I've got to go all the way back. I have to walk all the way back. <gasps> so tired. Um, <laughs> oh, Blackpool Heritage Tram Store. Ah, oh, I know about that. Maybe next time. How on bargains there? Um, yeah, next time I think I'm going to go down there. Oh, Tram Town as well. Yeah, that'll be good to go. I was looking for history things, but uh, I didn't really. There's Bonnie Street. Cause you had to... See, Bonnie Street had the market. Now, this used to be, Coral Island used to be, if you've watched my videos and my history videos, you'll, you'll know that this Central Car Park was the terminal for the train station, the old train station. Um, I put I took the drone up and you can see the platforms where they filled it in. But the Coral Island was the station. So all this was a station and it used to go out this way on the train. But obviously it's up here now. Um, so yeah, we didn't go to McDonald's again. We went to oh, CX. Uh, we went up to Yorkshire Fisheries, which was shut for two weeks, unfortunately. It was closed. It's closed. Yeah. And it's got, look at this, got 4.8. It is the best fish and chip shop in Blackpool. But it was shut. So we went to Tower Fisheries instead, which had got 4.5. And it was, it was all right. It was good. Not Yorkshire Fisheries, but it was good. So yeah, just a recommendation if you're going to Blackpool, go to Yorkshire Fisheries. If it's not open, go to Tower. Um, <laughs> stop, you know. I thought he had uh, let you know that. So we went into, um, before we went back home on the Wednesday morning, we uh, went to see Jess again. Um, that's when I got the Star Wars figure. And we went into the, uh, I think it's in here, the centre, the shopping centre, to go see, to look at getting game. looking again um i don't know if it's there or it's i forgot what it is anyway they've changed it all you see they've changed it all they've built all this so you can't see so 
I went to the gardens there. Um, ah, it's in it's in the sports centre. So, uh, yeah, it's in it's it's in the sports shop. I'm not going to name them because um, <laughs> because of reasons, right? So again, had some excellent deals like they normally do. Um, obviously, we didn't film in there because not allowed. Um, but I was bought this again. I was being spoiled ten pound. So I mean, it was from so, but we know that's that's half price, and then it was down to ten. So many good bargains, and um, one thing I did pick up in there was this which i had not even seen in the stores not even seen there was two packs there was a doctor doom uh i forgot which other but there was a number of two packs of so one of each number of two packs there was a big giant guy as well which was pretty cool and i, I was tempted to get them all but i thought i'll just get this this is down i think this is retail about 50 pound it was 28 pound and I still it's still sealed so i'll put this i was going to open it but i think it's gone on ebay now so that's that's up on ebay simply because how many of these have you seen on this on the shops the shops i don't know i don't i, I mean i don't really know i don't normally look for them but you know it's one of those things isn't it so yeah very good trip really enjoyed it thank you to vicky for coming with me um I had a wonderful, wonderful couple of days. Nice to get away. Um, give me a bit of sea air to try and make me feel better. It's, it did a bit. Um, I think I'm, I'm back now. The thing is, it was red hot. It was quite hot in Blackpool. It, it, it weird how warm it was. It was sunny and warm. Got on the train, got on the train. And we're going to Lazy. It started. It was raining. Uh, yeah. So anyway. I've enjoyed that. I hope, hope it, that gives you a bit of idea of where where we uh, where we stayed, where we where we shopped, where these shops are. So that's Blackpool. That's the pier. That's the North Pier, Central Pier, uh, so the South South Pier. The, the uh, obviously the. We didn't go down as far as the Pleasure Beach. Um, there's Waterloo Road. So from there to there, it's not a, it's not a long walk. If you, I would stay. I would I would definitely stay um, in the hotel that we stayed at. Very reasonable, very nice, very nice people, and yeah just go enjoy yourself go and check these shops out because there are there are more than there are more than i actually said but for the, for the three vintage shops you've got icons which yeah uh, there's another shop that i forgot the name of um which was all right it's not bad got some good stuff in there um it's obviously the toy shops is game plenty of Dutch toy shops Probably the best place to go toy shopping is Blackpool. And that's why I keep going. And I'll carry on to keep going. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. May the toys be with you. Hopefully it's okay. Hopefully we are in good Good picture. Right, hello. I've uh, just got back from Blackpool. I haven't. It's, uh, I got back a few days ago, but you saw, hopefully you've seen the video. Probably watched the video. Um, uh, I could, I could, I should have put this into the video, but I wanted to get the video up. Uh, you can tell my voice is still not 100%. Um, yeah. It's just, it's just been a nightmare. This is why I've not done um, any live streams. Um, videos like this because <laughs> but um, um it's trending up we're trending up now but yeah i just so it's going to be pro probably a very shot we were weaving about all over the road there weren't we sir yeah i'm sorry yeah i'm uh, i'm really tired um 
I've been up all night shagging. <laughs>